All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Wayne's World Garage. Today, we're heading to the Anne Arundel County Fair for day two of the fair, where we get to use the Frick Saw Mill powered by a Detroit Diesel 471 engine. 471 engines, supercharged, four cylinders, 71 cubic inches per cylinder. Great engine, diesel engine, maybe puts out 150 horsepower or so. And by the way, check out this wonderful hat I got last weekend from John Clark from Frick and Jeep, who also runs a sawmill. Frick is also a Jeep guy on Power Wagon. He's Jeep. We could have a tug of, tug of war sometime. But anyway, thanks, John, for the hat. You guys get bored, check out his channel. If you don't get bored, check out his channel anyway. He's got a great channel. So real quick, this is a John Deere 5075 tractor. It's like 70 horsepower. It's got loaded tires. It's got weights. Watch the back wheel come off the ground. It's not going to pick up this log. According to my calculations, though, this log weighs less than 4,000 pounds. I mean, I managed to drag it up there in a trailer with my winch, but it's a heavy log, so we'll figure it out. Well, this is funny. This is not funny. This is a big tractor. And it's not going to lift this guy's up. Cut it. We're going to cut it. All right, let me cut this thing. Yeah. Good. Yes, sir. So it turns out this log is too damn heavy for the 53, whatever that thing is. 5075 Echo, which is a big tractor with weights in it. We didn't lift it, but we will get her done. Let me, uh, let's get out the steel and chop it off. Okay, so what I did here is I brought two logs today. One's a 17 foot long red oak log, maybe 26 diameters. Nice log, nice and straight. The other's a poplar, maybe 14 or 15 foot. So our goal is to get these off, cut some fence boards and some barn boards. All right, so before any of you all ask, no, this is not a government job. The four people standing around are not government employees, and they're not leaning on shovels, which proves they're not county workers. So they're just helping, waiting for me to cut out this log. Then Rich will move it, and uh, these guys are actually the hard workers of the crew here. Thanks for helping, guys. So here's the other thing I do when I'm ever on bucking logs like this. Um, it's going to pinch or it's going to, you know, break and have a problem, you know, with my saw. So put some small wedges in the back of your pocket. They don't cost a nickel. Well, maybe they do cost a nickel, five bucks each or four bucks each. They're really handy, especially when you're bucking stuff on the ground. This one here, uh, we're trying to drag it off. So it worked out pretty well. Just throw a couple wedges in it. Then you can cut it all the way through with no drama. It's just the way to do it. Thank you, sir. 
This is going to be Rich's excuse to get a bigger tractor this year. That's what I was telling her. It's like, you man, get your money back. <laughs> so the hydraulics had the power, just didn't have the ballast. Yeah, I thought he needed a little bit more weight in the ass. Well, and that's so, that's what I was telling Alan, when he's selling these tractors, they insist on loading the tires and a rear ballast. Because even with loaded tires, all the weight is still in the front. And so you put some counterweight behind it yeah. on the back axle. Well, you'll make them a weight. Yeah, what's that? You'll make them a counterweight. Yeah. So this is my commercial for why you should not be buying a sawmill unless you've got lots of people to help out getting logs to your sawmill, loading logs at the sawmill, unloading logs at the sawmill. It's a tremendous amount of manual labor. And I give a lot of credit to guys like uh, John up there with freaking Jeep because I think he does most of his stuff alone. But if you've got big logs to work on and you're doing it alone, it's going to be a difficult task. We've got a bunch of people hanging out here. We've got some big machinery. It's still a bunch of work, and you can see we've already spent 15 minutes at this project, and we haven't started cutting any wood. Very, very time-consuming on the small-scale basis we do it at. So this log here, while relatively straight, is still kind of ugly. So we'll take the saw and whack off that big knob sticking out of it and uh, try and get some decent boards out of it. Here we are today at the Anne Arundel County Fair. We got Wayne's Wood and Wayne's Wood. Yes, this is Wayne's poplar log. We shortened it to eight foot, but it's still got a little bit of rot in the middle of it. But it's a nice size log. It'll take a little bit of work to turn. And we've got a poplar I brought 
and an oak, which we cut in half to make it a little bit easier to move around. So, uh, all right, fire in the hole. So this Detroit diesel, the 471, sounds like it's running at a lot of RPM, but remember, it's a two-cycle engine, and that's why it has a reputation, and they call it the Screaming Jimmy. It does just sound awesome, but being two-cycle, even at 2,000 RPM, makes a lot of noise, but it's got tons of power and tons of torque. As I said earlier, we operate this sawmill three or four days a year, so we're not terribly familiar with its capabilities. So Gary's our sawyer today, but he's taking it easy. He's not pushing this log too quickly yet. It's poplar. Um, he can push it a whole lot quicker. And our blade is dull. But this blade is running straight as an arrow, and it's just cutting extraordinarily well. Nice, straight boards. As always, the first step here is to make a big cant. So we got to square this guy off.
So what's going on here? Alan, Matt, and Gary are going to take this log and the square part along the front, which you just cut off, they're going to roll this log so that flat part is on the bottom. And this saw is set up so nicely, it will ensure that we have a perfect 90 degree angle between the bottom part of the log and the, the next cut. And it does work out pretty well. I really like this doing it this way. It just ensures really nice quality lumber when we're done.
Well, most of you all probably know this already, but what we've got here after this next cut, Gary's got a nice cant. Cant is a, a log which is turned into a square board, and we've got a big board here. It's maybe 12 inches by 16 inches. The hard work's done now that this log is squared up, and now we can whip through it and cut out the rest of the lumber pretty quickly.
So this pretty much wraps it up for this poplar log that Gary's been the Sawyer for. He's done a great job. This engine, the Detroit Diesel 471, doesn't bog one bit. It seems like you can push the carriage forward almost as fast as you want without it bogging down. Additionally, the blade doesn't get warm at all. It keeps running true as can be. And as I said before, it's not totally sharp. So Gary did a great job here. We're going to call this video quits and we'll do part two where Wayno, that would be me, gets to uh, chop up my next log into eight foot net boards anyway. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please pass it on to your friends if they like this kind of stuff. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. All those commercially type things that you can delete. But anyway, we're trying to get more subscribers. So do me a favor. Help me out. Leave a comment. Thumbs up and punch that subscribe button. Take care, guys. You all have a great day. Once again, thanks for watching another episode of Wayne's World Garage. Part 2 of this will be me cutting up the red oak I brought. Take care.